Staying on renewable and also on the on the cost, there's a question here from Dato Azanorai at 2.59 p.m. Uh, what is the future of hydrogen as renewable energy for Asia? Uh, very good question. Thank you so much. Uh, hydrogen is also something that was a bit over the radar in the last five years, but has been growing a lot in attention, especially because the big oil and gas companies, as they talk more about becoming net zero, uh, they are uh, thinking about how can they, what kind of uh, expertise, how can they contribute to that? And hydrogen then becomes uh, an important part of that equation in through, through the hydrolysis or through uh, conversion of natural gas. One of the benefits is the ability to supply this dispatchable source of energy uh, in these high dense areas such as Asia. Uh, and you're not going to to supply even even when you get energy storage uh, on the basis of uh, intermittent solar or uh, wind because these are very very low dense energy sources. You need a lot of land. Um, the lowest cost solar energy generation is not coming from rooftop. Uh, it, it comes from large scale solar uh, in auctions. Uh, so for these regions, yes, hydrogen uh, would be uh, very welcome to have an infrastructure and be able uh, to feed uh, systems with